Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. One of our subscribers has noticed that send a notification video is not there. So I made a video on it. Please go through it. There are very smart people, those who are not subscribing and watching my content. Please do subscribe this channel. Let's get started into the topic. So notifications are very important in uh, any application. So in Pega, we have a send notification utility shape directly in the flow before just jumping to the logic normally when a user has logged in we can see a bell icon over here so how these notifications has been arrived here it's very important for us to configure this and use some Pega OTB features so going to a case type I have this capture account information case type so once a case has been created I need to send a notification so I have added this send notification uh, utility over here. So here you have two options, create new and use existing. So suppose you want to create a new notification, you can give this. Otherwise, if you want to use existing, you can use this. This uh, particular notification uh, belongs to rule notification class. So all the instances of notifications are saved over here. Now this is message. Uh, this message you can uh, specify whatever you want just you have to give whatever name you have and if you open it a field value with a PV notification message uh, type will be opened and you can give whatever the message you want to be sent to the user and recipients this is most important part so you are preparing a notification and you want to send those notifications to a respective users so it can be end users it can be internal users or it can be some other people who are using our application uh, here we have say context this current page context data page page list or group so in your application if you are maintaining a page list uh, for all the users you can just uh, refer your page list over here and so effectively it can send notifications to all the users in the page list by the property you have defined this is data page uh, suppose if you are maintaining a data page uh, for your work parties, you can use this current page context. Suppose you want to send notification only to a respective customer once a case has been approved or some approval has been done, then you can use this current page context. For a video, I am going through this uh, data page. So this uh, is one of the OTB data page we have. This is PY team members in my work group. Normally. This is my operator ID. Under work, if you see, this is my work group. This is nothing but team. That's why you have to pass this value. I am having only one work group that is default. So I have to pass this parameter as default. I can check where how many operators are there. Now I am giving this default plus all the instances. Uh -huh. You can see px result count is 13. So if you see px results, you can see many operators over here. So for example, if you see here, py user identifier is portal user at the rate uh, pega.com. Suppose if there is an email uh, associated with this particular operator ID, you can use that email as well. There is no thumb rule like operator and email should be of same. So here, I have selected this uh, data page. If you see here, it is asking for parameters. I have given default. And this is recipient type, whether it is an email ID or an operator ID. So I have specified operator ID and I have given like PV user identifier. Now I am saving this particular notification group. And in message rule also, I have saved this. Okay. And suppose if I am creating a case over here and I am I am trying to send a notification, it will be sent to all the team members that are there with the work group default. But I can't see that notification. Okay, so for example, this is one. Now I am having a, another operator ID where I can see there are no notifications. This also I will explain to you. Now I am creating a case, capture account information case. I'm selecting some value and I'm just clicking create. 
okay a case c2007 is created and if i see notifications there are not notifications because i am the person who has created this case but if you can see here there is one message or main one notification see c2007 that we have created we are able to send notifications what is the different options what are the different options we have in this particular notification rule so this is of notification definition you can add uh, some more recipients if you want and this is channels if you see here this is enable web gadget pv show notification default is a section so we are able to see some notifications here right this particular uh, section which we are seeing these notifications is nothing but this pv show notification default this is enable push notification so a notification can be sent to a web user or a mobile user or an email as well so if you want to enable only this notification to be sent in all the three channels you can do this if you don't want to do that you can just uh, uncheck this and you can save this okay this is default pv notification message uh, okay here you can see this one what is this one this is nothing but parameterized field value suppose uh, we have an, an a requirement like this particular case has been submitted by some user narish example so you can use that uh, name and you can send in a notification like narish has created this particular case you can use that uh, by passing this uh, one and when you refer this particular message rule in our notification rule you would be getting like uh, what value needs to be sent for this parameter then you can use that uh, uh, respective problem and this is advanced step suppose uh, you have many notifications defined in your application and you want to categorize those you can do this categorization a mute notification so for a few reasons you need to send a notification but you should not disturb the user with a push notification but you want to mute it you can give this mute notification so what is the activity that are happening or how this message is being passed now i'm selecting this and i want to trace this particular functionality create so trace has been finished now i'm searching for notification you can see notification queue item just open this the notification that we have configured in our flow rule which mm -hmm. belongs to system queue notification and this is the notification name that we have configured and this is the message okay and to whom this particular uh, you know, notification that needs to be sent so you can see here uh, email mobile push notification these are the channel list that are there and these are the recipients these are recipients so we are given work group right work group default so you can see that particular configuration also here okay now let's back go back to Pega dev studio and here you can switch to admin studio so here under resources if you go to q processor you can see here one particular queue processor named as PV process notification. See, total seven notifications has been processed. This is a dynamic value that gets updated. And suppose if you want to test, uh, let's create another case. This is 2009, which is a new case. Now, here go to administrator, click refresh. This is PV process notification. See, eight notifications with them suppose if you face an issue like uh, you are sending a notification but it is not reaching to the end user then you can see this particular agent is up or not you can click on stop to stop this agent and you can click on start also you can see not running now you start so if you do a refresh this agent will be up now now if you go to this queue processor you can see there is an activity pz process notification that is being called so instead of uh, confusing you guys i will be giving over the activity which is px notify 
so uh, this is the context the particular notification is running and uh, this is the behind the scenes activity and the logic where which is getting triggered and uh, which is creating a key system queue notification page for us and uh, sending it to the respective users this is the logic behind this uh, send notification utility and not only that there are another instances also like uh, suppose if uh, tracer is uh, looking fine and the agent is up but still user is unable to get the notifications see here two notifications has been there yeah but even though notifications are not there go to your operator here you can see notification preferences if you open that this is a OTB section that is already given by Pega. suppose if you have some uh, pulse uh, feed and someone has mentioned you so you want to receive that uh, notifications immediately then you have to give instant so here we have different things like instant daily weekly disabled suppose uh, uh, someone has uh, given you comments on your profile and you don't want to receive that so you can just go over here and click on disable so email will be disabled suppose if you want to disable all the types of comments you can give that this okay so you have to check for the respect to operator what configuration they has done this is like general so now we have case types as well so by case step you can see here right capture account information capture account in place two cases we have here capture account information you can see right comments on case data flow like instant why here mobile and email checkbox are not there why because here in dev studio under assignment uh, assign in channels i have disabled this mobile and email due to that reason you can't see mobile and email over here and suppose if you want to enable only mobile notification click save and go here close this again go for notification preferences scroll down account information you can see mobile notification is there these are the uh, different configurations that you have to see and this particular send notification uh, you can see in the flow as well suppose if you want to add uh, separately these automations under automations if you scroll down you can see here send notification okay and if you want to give some audit notes you can pass on those this is all about uh, PY process notifications, uh, Q processor and PX notify activity and uh, send notifications. And uh, this is the OTB database that I have used. If you want to use some other configuration, you can go with it. And this is display section PY show notification default. This was uh, there under theme cosmos uh, application. This is my application name. So under work dash we have. If you want to customize this more further with some fancy uh, look, you can go ahead and uh, dig into this uh, section and do your changes. This is all about the send notification. In next uh, videos, we can uh, see about more communications, how we can send to the Pega. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on bell icon. So you can't uh, miss any one of the video from this channel. Please share, comment and like and give your suggestions in the comments of the video.